Hey everyone, today we will be reviewing some functional grasp patterns while I make a yogurt bowl. Broadly speaking, there are two types of grasps. There is power and precision. A power grip uses typically the whole hand while the precision grips use the thumb and the fingers. When I hold the fridge door, this is the perfect example of a power grasp. We're using a lot of energy and force here to open the door. Then I'm going to slide out some raspberries with a lateral pinch, which is an example of a precision grasp. I'm switching here to a lumbrical grasp in order to get the case out. Then I'm going to grab some yogurt using a cylindrical grasp. This is a really common one for whenever we're holding a cup. Now I'm going to use what looks like a hook grasp to open my cabinet door. And typically for hook grasps, we use them when we're carrying like a briefcase or a purse. I'm using some adapted grasps here that don't have a clear name, so I'm not gonna confuse anyone and label these. But let's move on to opening my yogurt. I'm using additional fingers, but mainly a pinch there. And then I'm gonna use a tripod grasp to use my spoon and scoop the yogurt into the bowl. The hand that I'm holding the yogurt or the bowl with tends to be a cylindrical grasp. And then I'm gonna use a lumbrical grasp to close the lid. I used a quick flat hand push to close the lid and now I'm going to use a lateral pinch to open my raspberries. Now I'm using a pincer grass to pick up my raspberries one by one, and you'll see me switch by using three fingers to a three jaw chuck. So here is a close up of the difference from the pincer grass with two fingers versus the three jaw chuck with three fingers. Then I'm going to get some hemp seeds and I'm using a pinch to open the top with both hands and I pull and then when I'm holding the bottom this is close to a spherical grass because it's fairly round so if you're holding a ball or an orange in your hand that would be considered a spherical grasp. I'm closing the bag with a pincer grasp and quickly I'll use a disc spherical grasp on top of this jar and a lateral pinch to open the clasp. The disc grasp is usually used to open lids, and now I'm using a cylindrical grasp to pour some chia seeds into my bowl. I'm using what looks like a lumbrical grasp to open my cabinet, and then I'm using a lumbrical grasp again, which is extension, to get a cutting board out. Then I'm going to use a cylindrical grasp to get my banana off the stand, and I couldn't get it off on this side, so I used a lateral pinch to peel the banana this way. Once I peel the whole thing, I'm going to get a knife to slice it up into small little pieces with a cylindrical grasp. And here is my finished yogurt bowl. This picture doesn't cover all of them, but I thought it would be a good reference. Notice the difference between a tip and a pinch. A pincer grasp uses the pads of our fingers while the tip one is a lot closer to the nails. Another great example for the lateral pinch is when you're holding a single key and trying to get it into the keyhole of your door. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys next time. Good luck!